first test that we will start the, uh, with is BioRit test. It's a test uh, of polypeptides. It will identify for you if you have uh, uh, polypeptides or protein inside the test tube. This is not a test for amino acids, only for uh, peptide bonds. Take the appropriate amount of test tubes. Here I will test three. I will use three test tubes. So you label them one, two, three. In the first test tube, I will add one ml of distilled water, and this is my negative control. We are going to use dropper pipettes for this purpose. The most important thing is do not mix up dropper pipettes with each other. For each solution, there is one dropper pipette because we don't want cross-contamination. You cannot transfer uh, one chemical from one place to another. Uh, the one ml is until the line of this dropper pipette. Amount doesn't have to be very specific, just approximately one ml. My second test tube has to be a positive control, something that I know it contains uh, protein. And for this purpose, I am using egg albumin. So with another dropper, one ml, tilt the line of egg albumin. And I'm going to test for you milk to check if milk contains protein or not. In your experiment, you will have also to check your unknown, an unknown solution that you are identifying its composition. So you should have a fourth test tube in this test. Uh, today, our uh, lab technician has prepared for us biot reagents with an AOH in the same solution. So we don't need to add an AOH. All what we have to do is to add one ml of the bioreactor agent of the of each of these test tubes as discussed in the lecture a blue color is an indicator of a negative result there are no peptide bonds and a violet color is an indicator of peptide bonds we are going to mix our test tubes so if you look at the negative control test tube, it's a very light blue color. This is how a negative result looks like. And this is the albumin test tube, and this is how a positive result looks like. Negative control, positive control. Distilled water, uh, albumin, egg albumin. We look at the protein to identify, we look at the milk to identify if it has protein or not. The color, as you can see, is closer to the positive control. It's a violet color which indicates that milk contains protein. 